everyone welcome back this is Joan today we're going to do another practice test all right so let's get started did the R4 RAM modules have how many pins 168 240 288 or 204 what do you think is the best answer here all right if you choose 288 you're correct. DDR4 RAM modules have 288 pins. All right, let's go to the next question. Which type of RAM modules have 240 pins? So DIM, SDR RAM, DDR3, DDR4. All right, if you choose DDR3, you're correct. DDR2 and DDR3 RAM modules have 240 pins. Which technology makes simultaneous access to multiple RAM? Dual channel memory, synchronous RAM, single sided RAM, or double sided RAM? Alright, if you choose dual channel memory, you're correct. Dual channel memory provides simultaneous access to two RAM modules when reading or writing. Synchronous RAM is a technology that keeps RAM timing match to the system clock. Single and double-sided RAM modules are configuration that determine the capacity of RAM modules. All right, let's go to question number four. Which RAM will typically be installed into a laptop computer? ECC, SPD RAM, SDR RAM, or so dims. All right, choose so dim. You're correct. Laptop and other small form factor motherboards typically use so dim. Memory modules ECC RAM is usually found in server graded computer. SD RAM is an early generation of RAM technology, but it is not specific to laptop. There is no such thing as SPD RAM. All right, let's go to the question number five. What type of RAM can function even if one of the memory chip fails? So DIM, ECC, SPD RAM, dual channel RAM, or double sided RAM? All right, if you choose ECC, you're correct. ECC RAM and parity RAM can function with a failed memory chip. So DIMMs are small outline form factor memory modules. Dual channel technology that support simultaneous access to multiple RAM modules. Double-sided RAM are RAM modules that are organized into four bits. All right, let's go to the last question for today. Question number six. In what order should memory slot be populated? Whatever order the motherboard manual, manual is specified, closest to the CPU to farthest from the CPU, alternate slot is starting farthest from the CPU, farthest from the CPU to closest to the CPU, memory slot are smart so any order is acceptable. Alright, if you choose whatever order the mother ma manual specify, you're correct. Memory slots should be populated according to the instruction in the motherboard manual. Alright, this is Joan and thank you for watching and bye for now.